If you wish to add a signature file to your email or you need to change your signature file because you need to add a certification or you've changed the position, then I'm going to show you how to change or update your signature file today. The signature file is just a short text file at the end of your email. It's attached every time you send an email and it includes your name, your position, your phone number, an email address, and it can even include a nice quote, like a teacher quote. So the way to do it is you click on the little gear up here in the right hand corner and you click the word settings and you will see these tabs across the top and you want to be in the general setting which is the default tab and you just scroll down until you get to signature and you it's automatically set up with no signature so you will click the radio button and that allows you to have a signature and so you would fill in your name and your position and your school or your district if you're a district person and then the phone number and let's say this is my cell number and this is my extension Oops. and then if you have copied and pasted a quote you can just copy and paste the quote there but you want to make the text you can change the text you can bold it and tell so whatever you want to do and then anytime you make a change to one of these tabs you have to go down to the bottom and click save changes at one time there was one at the top and the bottom but now they just have it at the bottom so you're going to save changes you can go back and look at the settings again there's your signature and if you'll notice right above it, this is where you can change your picture. You don't have to have a picture of yourself. You could just have a, um, an avatar or a picture that represents you. And this is also where you can undo and ascend and decide that you have a chance to undo something within 30 seconds. And this is also where you can um, change your font, all kinds of things. Once you've made your changes, checked on your signature file, then save your changes again. It'll take you back to your email, and that's the way you save your signature file.